Hello guys, so yeah, it has been a long while and we got this amazing table, so we were thinking to like, let's do some trick shot video or something. We're gonna bring more of those up. We're just gonna give out the surf, just our game, how we play, how we do all the spin and side spin. So, we're just gonna show you a little bit things. You guys, can, if you're a professional table tennis player, you can give us tips. But we mostly just read and that's how we know all about it. So, don't worry. So, um, we just wanted to show you like how I play, like how I play on the channel. Well, if I don't have a partner, you can see the wall right there, right? So, uh, I move everything, like the table, if you wanna do this alone, this practice session is good for people like, let's say your mom and dad, brother is not home. You just wanna play, you just wanna play. So, this is the great practice session. You can just, uh, well, let's assume, like, in, when there's two people, this is how you play in two people. This is the forehand, this is the backhand. That side is the forehand, that side is the backhand, right? But that tactic is good. But I want to show you something that you will love, like really love. So just take a look at it. Give me your thoughts if it's good or nice. I mostly don't know, but just give it a thought. Okay? Yeah, let's get started. Basically, I'm just picking up the ball. Not, not smashing yet, but when you smash in more higher circumstances, you need to smash it even more lower. Because if you're good in smashing it lower, like just cruising the ball, then you can get more speed while you smash with the real player. <laughs> Sorry that happened. But th this smash was fast enough. You just need to keep that, but don't, like, Try to make it over the net. When you play with a real opponent, if you don't make it over the net, you're doomed. Like, not doomed, but you're gonna miss the shot. So, oh. Here. But this is how I play back in. You can also try like tricks, like let's, like curving. Well, it's curving to me because you're basically making the ball with side spin and making it go sideways. So this is curving. This is curving my, my way. You can also do this. This is a really good technique. Look, look. Wait, you know foreign, right? So foreign is just a straight, but you could like more curving. Like this is curving, but this is a different curving. Ah, sorry, let me do it.
instead of just going up the ball, instead of going over the ball, you can go this way, look. You can just go this way so you can generate that spin. It's basically that's what I'm doing. So you can do curves, and with this curve you can actually trick because this is how you can get a good trick on your opponent. You're smashing, but as soon as you do that forehand, you can just curve that flank. Because if you curve it, they will not notice the spin, and it can work for from a basic level player to a very high advanced player. It doesn't matter, but if you can get this spin right, it's basically this. Look, look, look. So this is what it is. It's not top spin. It is a sideways motion to trick your opponent that it looks like it's a top spin. Because this is top spin. This is top spin. It goes straight. But this is the top spin just goes straight. It goes in a straight line motion. No curving. No, no, you can't say curving, but no at the last moment spin change. Like it's not changing the spin. It's just normal top spin. This is actually confusing because look. It looks like you're doing the top spin, but the second you release, sorry, one sec. The second you release, the whole thing has changed. The whole spin, the whole confusion is changed because the second you release it with this, oh, sorry. The whole matter of spin has changed because a slight this and a slight this is very different. Let me show you where the ball will land when you hit this serve. Let me show you. So, this is where I'm serving, right? Oops, sorry. This is where I'm serving. And the ball, if you're doing this curve the ball will land a bit here sorry somewhere here like more closer to out maybe here but more closer to out when you're doing that normal straight one top spin it's gonna land like wait sorry right on the corner wait right on this so it's a big big difference where the ball is going to land because the ball spin changes it like one small spin can make you win the game now i want to go over one more spin it's basically good it's basic basic tutorial well basic spin which I'm going over in this uh, video uh, session. Basic spin. Well, this was just the top spin. Which angle? I also discovered. I also gave you one more spin in that because this can confuse a lot of players. One more spin I wanted to go over with you guys is. Is the side spin serves. People usually get confused in what are they doing because I know they're doing this or this or I don't know this, but 
there are various upsides when and you well people also do it with the this way like this something but you could use this spin to defeat even the easiest opponents of all time how let me show you this spin is really useful that I use on dad and my brother. Like my brother, my death is really good, like in intelligent. I'm also, I practiced with him, so I'm good. But I, I know all the spin serves. So he returns it and I also get it back on him. I'm mostly a spin guy. My brother, on the other hand, my dad is also a spin guy, but he's also, he smashes more than me. And I'm mostly all about the spins. I do this spin, like I'm mostly on the spin things. And my brother is mostly, most likely he does, he does basically normal top spin. So he, he tries to do all the other spins. He's not really good at sneaking, so can't call him like the best, but like he can play like a normal game. I can play that too. So, this is the one, wait. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, this is the one you want to use most often or really often to win any game. You wanna, like, you wanna, this serve is good enough to defeat an opponent. So you stand here, like on the edge of the side you're serving, really edge, then you, you go the other way. So this is the normal side spin. This is the normal side spin that I'm about to do. This is the normal side spin. See that? This was really normal. Like, this is barely used. It uses, but it's a really good, effective side spin. This one is a bit different. This is counter lovely. And the reason I like this thing is because when you do it the other way around, the spin is changed. When you go the long way, person could smash it easily. You know, like he could pick it up in a different manner and then smash, done. Game is, first point of the game is finished. Counterclockwise is a bit tight, but when it works, it works really good. Let me show you what I'm Sorry, I'm, I get it in the first try, but... So let me show you what I'm doing. This spin is effective because this can... Either you trick the opponent like... You could make the counterclockwise spin and or just make it go straight so he gets confused. So it's very big difference. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.